Hey, showdown 15 here. This week's film was The Sitter. Now, basically I found that with this film you got exactly what you expected. Basically what you got was a comedy that's as funny as the trailers and concepts suggests. And that's about it. Base to go through the basic nice bit. To go through the nice bits. The plot line's interesting. The casting's good. And, you know, you've got some positive social messages in there. Right, so, let's go through the basic plot summary, because I always give you guys one of those. Basically, we have people... Well, I say these are the generation that exists now, except he's even worse off than you. Basically, the main character is a university dropout and he's trying to work out what to do with his life he has pretty much given up on finding a job because he doesn't think he's gonna find anything and let's face it with his educational halfway point he's probably gonna be a while but his mother suggests babysitting because her friend is in a bind and her friend is going to set her up so she convinces him to babysit the children of a, her friend who the protagonist has a bit of a crush on and now we hit my favorite point one of the most interesting points of the casting because for the mother of the kids you have the woman who is best known for her work in The L Word, where she played Dana Fairbanks, who was one of the most important characters in the series until her exit, due to, well, her character's exit due to dying of breast cancer. Now, in the program, she gets a mastectomy. The amusing part about this is when you actually watch the film, he likes this woman primarily because she has nice boobs. Anyway, she's got a mismatched family. And let's be honest, you get one of the kids' problems within five seconds. But at the same time, you don't really want to jump to that conclusion. Let's just put it this way. As with a lot of films at the moment, they're saying it's okay regardless of what age you are, as soon as you realise it's okay, accept it and move on. Right, we have a explosive loving Latino kid who's adopted and doesn't feel part of the family. You have the girl who wants to be the celebrity stereotype because as far as she's concerned that's glamorous and wonderful. And what girl should aspire to, but the lesson she learns is she really shouldn't be aspiring to that, she should just enjoy being a kid, which is a valid social message. Right. Anyway, we're skipping ahead. Uh, essentially, he has a girl who uses him, and he likes her more than she likes him, but she tries to to convince him to do break the law so the on the condition breaks the law suggesting that he will get certain things if he fulfills his obligations. His obligations lead him to encounters with drug dealers and the babysitting kid stuff does not help because they make the situation worse. If it was just him it would just be in, out, done. There would be no actual situation, but because he's babysitting kids, and kids have small bladders, and... Anyway, craziness ensues with a overly familiar drug dealer, and his encounters with a 
woman who, when they were both in high school together, he did something wrong to her, and he never owned up to it or apologized, but it, through the course of the film, he does own to it, he does apologize. He even takes the hit because he thinks that that's what he deserves, so she gives it to him, and she respects him for taking the hit. He also meets a new love interest, one who's actually worthwhile and who actually likes him. So, you know, that's good. He scorns his own dad because his dad has quite frankly been screwing him over for years at this point. And, yeah, it's basically nice packed plot line. There's also a positive message with the African-American community taking care of the social problems that occur albeit in a slightly negative way but for a positive effect anyway yeah so you know there's lots of nice things uh, interesting bit of casting if you pay attention to the protagonist's mother you might have you'll have this little feeling like you've seen her before and just to narrow things down, once upon a time she was there for you in a recurring supporting role. There's your clip. Anyway, uh, basically the film is what you expect. Pure and simple. The plot's interesting, things, social, positive social messages, but overall it's still, the overall impression you get is still exactly what you were expecting. It's delivered in a slightly unexpected way, but it's still exactly what you were expecting. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's about it, so see you next week. TTFN.